everything. All right, guys, we are back in Manage Packages with NPM. We are doing the um, start a project in this video. So let's go ahead and open up your workspace from the c9.io. While that's running, I'm going to go ahead and open up a monster real quick. And I'm going to take some of my study juice pills, a Brain Forza product, and uh, just take some of these. Uh, trying to get <laughs> a whole lot done YouTube-wise today, so I want to stay focused. All right, um, if you don't already have this menu up, all you have to do is type in how-to-npm. You can see I did it right here. And uh, go to start a project. So NPM helps you build project, but NPM might not be able to do that. But for NPM to be able to do that, you need to tell NPM a little bit about project. You can tell about like creating a file called package.json. So every NPM, um, every every project is going to have this package.json. Um, so remember how we created username? Mine was CT360. Um, now we're going to run, uh, we're going to do NPM init. We're going to initialize it, right? This dash dash scope and then equal CT360 and replace username with the username. This will create our package.json file. So cool, um, now that we did that, we can simply run ls. Oh, whoops, so I may have messed up. Uh, so you'll see that it gives us a bunch of other things right here that we can enter and then we say, how do we go no? All right, so we're gonna abort it. You see how I entered ls right there? Let's go ahead and do that one more time. That was npm init dash dash scope and then equal to our CT360. Okay, so we want our workspace to be this name right here. So hit enter. The version that we're gonna start with is 1.0. Uh, description, um, we can leave that blank. Entry point, index.js, test command, get repository, keywords, author, license, and then hit enter if you're okay with that. We can now go ahead and hit ls here and you'll see that we have our package.json file created. We also uh, take away that there's a bunch of other stuff that we could have added that uh, wasn't necessarily required to get going here. So uh, to make sure that we did everything correctly, we should uh, go ahead and run the uh, npm command, how to npm, and then verify. Your solution is not correct. It looks like you are in the wrong folder, and then try again. So, uh oh, wrong folder. So, let's see how to npm, npm print. Let's see our instructions. This will create a package.json file. How dash two dash npm. Verify package dot JSON. Looks like you're in the wrong folder. Please CD into Ubuntu workspace. So LS, we are in the correct folder. Um, let's see what's going on here so far. Yeah, we're in here. We're, we're in here with this in our workspace. Interesting, so we're having a little bit of an issue here. Now I had something similar happen where I had to actually close this and then open it again for it to take effect. So let's see if that's what's going on here. All right, so how-to-npm verify. How-to-npm. Verify package. Oh, dash two dash npm. Verify package. Uh, JSON. Okay, it looks like you're in the wrong folder. So what are we doing incorrect here? CD into home Ubuntu workspace. So CD, so CT360. Okay, now how dash to dash NPM verify. Uh, oh, it looks like we may have actually done it in the wrong folder. So 
see how we're in workspace. We want to actually do it here, I believe. Easy enough. We can go ahead and create, do the same thing. How to npm, and then uh, excuse me, not how to npm. npm uh, init dash x scope equal to ct360. So just go ahead and hit enter like we did before. Okay, so now our package.json is in the correct spot. And we'll probably need to go ahead and remove that. So let's go ahead and make sure we did this correct before we move on. How to dash npm verify. Perfect. Okay, so earlier on we we um, we went we created package.json correctly, we did it in the wrong spot. So let's go ahead and jump back a spot by hitting dot dot. And then um, we want to say npm rm package dot json and this should remove it so so you'll see no repository field now why didn't it remove our package dot json we also just delete it from here by uh, by doing it like so okay cool so uh, you just manually delete it as well by right clicking and calling it a day and then now when we run how to dash npm, you'll see that we have completed this and we'll go on to installing a module in the next video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. Special thanks to you who do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Go to devmountain.com if you're interested in coding boot camps where housing is included in the tuition. So you can get up and go and not have to worry about where you're going to live. You can just go and immerse yourself fully in the experience and check them out. And a special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. If you want to make sure I keep putting out more content, Patreon's a great place to support me. But as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.